Hello everyone. Today I found a very interesting analogy between a boss and a leader. As the saying goes, picture represents more than thousand words. So even if you are on mute or if you want to keep it on mute, it, it won't matter. However, just for giving some examples and my verbal communication, you can say, I will go slide by slide. So you can see in this document, like this particular slide, so there is a boss who is taking advantage of an employee and there is a leader who empowers it, nurtures it and hence their subordinate grows and in this way the leader itself also grows down the line. A boss who is instructing, guiding and just finding faults of an employee and a leader who even if the plan A doesn't work, he is guiding on plan B, plan C and how best it can be done. Although it should not be the, always the case, but definitely if there are certain instances, there should be plan B. Next, this one, if you can see, it's how it's being instructed and the subordinate who is even if he is demotivated of doing that particular work and he's being ordered to do so while in case of a leadership role when a leader is guiding he or she is motivating their employee in a way that the employee is very happy and going forward in his professional life this one is also a uh, where a boss takes all the credit and uh, and the leader is the one who you can see uh, gives credit to their subordinates you would have seen i uh, looking to this picture i thought of uh, the indian cricket team when dhoni was the captain normally what happens is like he whenever he wins a cup uh, his team wins in uh, uh, and uh, you can say an award or a match then he used to give that particular to uh, one of his uh, junior most teammates and then the whole team have that group picture so it, it was very it is very similar to that and this is how uh, from the outside the world we perceive it how a true leader should be and this one where you have a, been given a task and if you can't do then you know what is the a repercussion and the other way where there is a very tough task and leader will uh, you can say give his or her hands and move it further and here it's commanding do this that and here it's like interaction okay what what, what are you doing so uh, currently the agile world it's uh, you, you would have seen like there's something called in agile stand-up meetings are there where you have a scrum master they do normally uh, if, if the team follows the scrum master will just ask like what you have done yesterday what is the thing which you are going to do today and what is there any blocker so these are the only three things being asked but in uh, certain uh, if, if, if you have a kind of boss in the scrum meetings then you know like you will be instructed and this that blah blah so you know how uh, things goes on uh, this know how it is done so it will be like a boss will say like okay this is how you have to do it he may not be aware that okay whether th this can be done that way or not but he will just say and the leader will guide you and show you like okay this is how it is being done this is how I have done it so you can also do it so it, it feels a kind of motivation don't go just uh, whatever is given in the picture uh, it depends on the capability also but at least when a, when a leader guides you and shows you how it can be done by giving an example and this this motivates definitely and whenever there is a good job then then uh, rather than taking credit giving credit should be 
the one which is there so uh, there are a lot of uh, parameters for example maybe some appreciation email uh, in professional world maybe appreciating in the team so it's it's always said like when you are appreciating someone appreciate in a group so you have a pe- group or team so when you have a people where a lot of uh, uh, crowd is there and uh, crowd in sense the whole team is there you can appreciate an employee's effort and work over there so that's the quality of a leader and uh, whenever there is a fault that is not mentioned in this picture but whenever there is a fault you can do it personally you can uh, talk to one on one have a one on one one conversation and try to uh, figure out discuss it like why why it happened what what were the causes how to resolve it and how to make sure like to follow the best practices practices and not to that might, that should not happen in future so this is the way it should be done and if you are being uh, uh, cross question and ask in a group then you know what kind of boss you have uh, when 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 there is something wrong uh, so these were the few slides which i found really interesting and uh, uh, kind of you would have been able to relate also so from a leader perspective so if you are a leader you should know what to do how to treat your subordinates and if you are and and if you have a, a leader whom you are working under you should you should know like how you what all you are you would be expecting from him or her and uh, as uh, uh, mahatma gandhi would have said like be the change you want to see in the world so definitely if you are in a leadership position now or down the line you should also uh, follow the one which you want to receive from your leader rather than uh, being bossy try to have leadership skills uh, in which everyone is being in a healthy environment so this is what i found really interesting and wanted to share and gives give some examples so that it can uh, be relatable have a good time bye bye